Hi everyone, today I shall do the surface marking of the abdomen. You know that surface marking is the surface projection of the structure and this is very much helpful in clinical practice and also in other uh, issues. Now you will see in the surface marking we will do the visible landmark and the palpable landmark. Now the visible landmark here you will see the nipple is the visible landmark and the umbilicus is the visible landmark and the bony prominences they are the palpable landmark that means this is the clavicle you will see so this is the palpable landmark here this is the anterior superior iliac spine this is the palpable landmark and 5 cm behind the anterior superior iliac spine, this region is known as the tubercle of the iliac crest. Now, in the abdomen, first we will draw the two lines and these lines are the mid-clavicular line. Now, this mid-clavicular line passes from the midpoint of the clavicle in the examination we will do this chalk point because the person can clearly you know, then remove this without any problem and this is the mid inguinal point between the in the inguinal ligament next thing you will see so we will use the actually the this flexible piece board to draw the mid clavicular line so you will see this is the mid clavicular line i have drawn but as it is not so visible that's why for the video purpose i uses the marker pen and this marker pen i will draw this mid clavicular line you will see this is the mid clavicular line this is one and this is another another thing in the abdomen is very important that is the transpyloric plane how one can locate the transpyloric plane you will take the person's one hand breath below the ziphi sternum. This is the ziphi sternum and this is the one hand breath. So you will draw a line below this. This will cut behind into the first lumbar vertebra. So this is the transpyloric plane of addition. And why it is important? Because you will know certain things are very important. That is the pylorus of the stomach, the hilum of the kidney. And also you will see here the, um, this thing and the fundus of the gallbladder is situated in this transpyloric plane. Now another plane uh, I should draw that is the transtubercular plane this is the anterior superior iliac spine from the anterior superior iliac spine 5 cm behind this is the iliac tubercle and this iliac tubercle if I draw a point joining the two iliac tubercle so this is the you will see the tubercle of the iliac crest and by joining this tubercle of the iliac crest we will get the transtubercular plane and this plane is slightly below the point of the umbilicus so you will see the abdomen is divided into nine regions the upper three, this is known as the right hypochondrium, this is known as the epigastrium and this is known as the left hypochondrium. The middle portion, this is known as the right lumbar, 
this is known as the umbilical region and this is the left lumbar region and this is the right iliac fossa the middle there is the hypogastrium and this is the left iliac fossa and i will discuss it later on now first you should know what is the point of the cardiac orifice you know the stomach which is very important organ for digestion and there are some diseases of the stomach so one should palpate the stomach feel the stomach or one should operate in that region so how will you surface uh, position of this cardiac orifice now this cardiac orifice is it lies above in the you see the trans above the transpyloric plane and 2.5 cm to the midline this cardiac orifice i make this uh, cross in this region but it is a surface projection you will mark on two sides this is the cardiac orifice because this can depict the direction of the cardiac orifice and it lies near the posterior abdominal wall it is the deep seated orifice next is the pyloric orifice it lies in the transpyloric plane and it is about 2.5 cm away from the midline so this is the position of the pyloric orifice now this orifice is very deep and this orifice is superficial one can palpate if there is any hyperplasia in this region in case of child you will see so we can diagnose that thing next point is that you should know that this jiffy sternum is the junction of the seventh costal cartilage and this you will see and below that you will see the cartilage you will see this is the seventh cartilage this is the eighth and this is the ninth cartilage and in this ninth costal cartilage you will get a point this is known as the fundus of the gall bladder now what is the importance of the fundus of the gall bladder if one suffers from pain in the abdomen after taking some fatty meal then you will see it come to you then you palpate in this region by the thumb and by deep inspiration you can see that in this region there is the pain and so you can diagnose clinically so there is the uh, gall bladder is inflamed or there is the disease in the gall bladder so everywhere you cannot get the big big instrument in the periphery you will identify this uh, disease of the patient by means of clinical examination so this is about the point which is known as the um, that is the point at the tip of the ninth costal cartilage which is just nearer to the transpyloric plane next point you will see this is the umbilicus from the umbilicus up to the anterior superior iliac spine you can draw a line this is known as the spino umbilical line now in this spino umbilical line at the junction of the medial 2/3 and the lateral 1/3 he will give a point which is known as the macburney's point now this macburney's point in case of appendicitis if you press in this region then you will see that there is the um, pain in this region so this is the macburney's point so these points of the abdomen are very important now the lower border of the liver you know in case of adult the liver cannot feel the liver now this is the costal cartilages you will see this is the costal cartilage 
So the liver lies, the inferior border lies within the costal cartilage. So during the deep palpation like this, you can feel the inferior border of the liver. Next thing I shall discuss about this point that is the, you see the tubercle of the iliac crest. Why it is important? Because in case of this type of person uh, that is the normal and thin person we can take the marrow from here for detection of blood cancer and in case of obese it is not possible so from here from the sternum the marrow is taken but it is very painful to the uh, patient next is the how will one examine the palpate the abdomen. So one can start with the left side because in the right side lies the appendix. So we purposefully start from the left side. We feel the left iliac fossa. Here lies the descending colon and the sigmoid colon. Next it is you will see the left lumbar region lies the left kidney as well as the descending colon. This is the left hypochondrium, here lies the spleen and also the part of the stomach. Here lies, you will see the epigastrium, here lies the stomach and deep seated there is the pancreas also. Now in this region you will see there is the liver. So right hypochondrium, epigastrium and partly the left hypochondrium, it contains the liver. Next is the, this is the right lumbar region where you will get the right kidney. Here you will get the appendix. So if there is any appendicitis, you can feel in this region. Now in the midline, this is the epigastrium, you see the foregut pain is localized here. Up to the second part, the opening of the major duodenal papilla that is the foregut. If there is any disease in the midgut, that means the small intestine, jejunum and ileum, the pain you will get feel here. And if there is pain in this region, you will see there is full bladder or in case of female, the problem lies in the uterus and all the thing. As well as if there is any uh, problem in the defecation. This is the region, the lumbar region where you can feel the kidney in this way. This is known as the bimanual palpation of the kidney. Now. In this bimanual palpation, you see one can put one hand in front of the abdomen, another hand in the behind, that is in the back. So one can palpate by this way and this is known as the bimanual palpation of the kidney. So this is, you see, are different points you will see you will get the aortic orifice that is in the region of the 12 thoracic vertebra. This is the L1 vertebra, the transpyloric plane. So in this region, in the abdomen, you will see on the left of the midline lies the abdominal aorta. So the first part point of the uh, abdominal aorta that is the celiac trunk. This is the region where the celiac trunk lies. Below that, just below the transpyloric plane, there lies another origin of an artery which is known as the superior mesenteric artery. So why you should know this point? You should know this point because if there is any uh, aortic aneurysm. Aneurysm means dilatation of the aorta. Such a big pipe that has got such a force of distributing force towards the whole body, the fluid. One can, if attempt 
to cut in this region you will see there are uh, actually projectile blood coming and one can sank, sunk in immediately. So such a big pipe if there is softening of the pipe due to the disease and if it bursts then and then the person will be died. So before then when there is the complaint so what one should do they can bypass the uh, blood from the aorta to the lower level of the dilatation. That's why you have to know the origin of the different artery. So at the level of the uh, third lumbar vertebra you will get there is the origin of the inferior mesenteric artery. And roughly this is the position of the abdominal outer. So thank you everyone and I think it is beneficial for you. And not only this is the clinical examination but when you go for the specialized practice then you have to know this one. Uh, in case of anesthetist, in case of surgeon, vascular surgeon, everybody should know this. And you will see, though there is advent of the newer mechanism that is the ultrasound or other things. No, not everywhere the ultrasound is, uh, uh, you will get the ultrasound, suppose in the villages.